Hi, in part three of graphical solutions of two variable linear programming problems using Maple, we are going to be looking at an example. In here I have generated a two-dimensional LP, max, minus, minus 4x plus 8y, subject to 5x plus 2y, greater than or equal 10, 2x minus 3y less than or equal 8, 6x plus 5y less than or equal 40. We are going to be looking at the plotting the three main constraints I have identified uh, using the uh, inequal command. I have identified all necessary options for the plot and I have generated the plot. Now notice that the current plot, because it doesn't have the non-negativity constraints, includes val negative values for both x and y. So the feasible region for these three constraints include some parts which are in the second and on the fourth quadrant. Now we are going to add these non-negativity constraints to our inequal command and we will do that one at a time. First I'm adding x greater than or equal to zero. By adding x greater than or equal to zero, anything that had x less than or equal to zero is no longer in there. I'm going to add now y greater than or equal to zero instead of just x. And you notice that in here now I have all the negative values of or equal that value. Uh, if I increase that value, and that's what the graphical solution does, it is sliding the objective line, uh, objective function line, parallel to each itself, and by changing the right-hand side values, that's exactly what we are doing. I'm now plotting it for minus 4x plus 8y less than or equal 10, and as you expect, um, we will have values in the feasible region. Still, there are more values in the original feasible region, so we are going to change those values and keep sliding the Z line up, because this is a maximization problem, and that's the direction of the increase of the objective function. We are increasing from minus 50 to minus 40 to to 10 and now um, to 40, another value. In fact, as long as we do not go to that specific point, which is y equal 8 and x equal 0, we're still in the inside the feasible region. So we are going to put the right value in there, which is 64, of course, when you plug 
uh, the values you get 64 and that is the objective uh, function line that passes through the optimal solution so here is a very very easy approach that you can use to find your optimal solution